Hi guys, another wintry day in Scotland, the hailstones are hitting my window and I'm sitting inside cosy with a cup of tea doing some digital painting. This weekend I decided to give Critter a go for watercolours just to see how it compared to sketchbook. Yeah, I went for this drawing of a fox in winter keeping with the theme of my first watercolour video in sketchbook pro and also because it's nice and wintry outside as you can probably hear. Um, I started with using a pencil and critter and sketching out the general shape of my reference, again using the circle method as I'd shown you in a previous video. Such a happy looking wee fox this reference is. So in sketchbook the watercolour brushes are what I've been using now for well over a month and as you can see they're flat when colouring, generally just one tone is laid down unless you use a synthetic paint setting, again as I've shown you in previous videos, which does make the paint fade away. I have to say that when I booted up Critter yesterday for the first time in a while I wasn't expecting much as I gave up on Critter a while back as it kept crashing while I was in the middle of a drawing. That doesn't seem to be a problem anymore and I have to say I was blown away by the default watercolour brushes as illustrated here. One particular brush that stands out is the basic watercolour brush, the brush that's highlighted in blue in the brush set. The basic watercolour brush gives this great effect that is when you put the pen to the screen and keep spreading the colour, the previous colour that you've laid down starts to kind of lighten. It's a really great effect and it feels really natural when you're, when you're using it. The amount of water dilution that takes place can be changed in the brush settings um, as shown. You go to the secondary flow setting and you either increase the strength or decrease the strength. If you increase the strength, more water is added and you get a very, it's almost as though the colour just disappears. So you've got to find the right setting. Usually I use 7% for a, a good colour and about 14% to get that kind of watered down look. There are plenty of other great brushes from dry brush effects to spreading brushes and a splat type brush, which I used on my first portrait today. Um, that was this morning, I was just messing around, or yesterday and this morning, uh, messing around in Krita for the first time in a while. And so you can see the portrait with the kind of splash effect down the bottom. So onto the remainder of drawing the fox. When using the watercolour brush in Krita, you need to keep the pen on the screen and only lift it at the end of the final stroke. That means that you get a little blob of colour, um, which is the kind of effect that you're trying to get. This can take a bit of getting used to, it doesn't feel quite right, but overall you get used to it and you can fix things in digital art, things can be redone, you can take multiple attempts, that's the, the beauty of digital art. Um, you don't have to just scrap your canvas and, and throw it away. If this video has been of use so far, please remember to hit the like, subscribe and the wee bell notification, it really helps my channel. So the weird thing is I had actually emailed Sketchbook prior to using Critter to ask for this very type of brush to be made available. I haven't heard anything from them and I do hope that they, they will eventually update their software. But Krita have nailed this effect in my opinion and for free software it is just incredible. I think moving forward I will definitely be using Krita as my basic watercolour software, at least until Sketchbook get their act together and get some upgrades going with their software. Another program that I did look at was a program called Rebel and it seems to be really geared towards watercolour and getting natural looking painting effects. I haven't tried out the software yet, it does cost about £110 UK um, for the pro version but looking at the demo it did appear to have some really great effects but Krita it's free and I'm really going to be trying it out over the next coming weeks and I'll make some videos on some of the tips and tricks I can give you. If interested in digital watercolour, definitely check out the playlist that's up in the corner. If this video has been of use to you, please remember to hit the like. Thank you everybody, hope life is treating you well, and wee Bob is out.